Carradine here. This week, I'm in Imogen Holst's former home in Oldborough. I'm delighted to be here, courtesy of the Britain Peers Foundation. They offer creative retreats for composers, offering them a week or two to come and stay and just have that time to compose and be away from the stresses and strains of day-to-day -day life. So I feel very lucky to be here. Imogen Holst was an amazing woman. She was a composer, a conductor, teacher. She was the director of the Oldborough Festival for 20 years. She worked alongside Benjamin Britten for many years. And to be able to compose in her former home feels very special indeed. I'm having a little run right now along the seafront just to get some inspiration. Let's see if it works. So while I've been here, I've mainly been focusing on writing short pieces for piano. Early this year, I wrote a, a large piece for orchestra. This was commissioned by the K3A Orchestra in Kingston. And since then, I think I've sort of gone in the opposite direction. After composing that big work, I've enjoyed writing small works for solo instruments, especially the piano. Um, I can sort of just let the music flow and it feels like I'm making a lot of progress. And it's nice to sort of, you know, write a piece and, be, and complete it in a day or two. Um, I enjoy that. So mainly I've been work working on a series of five new pieces for piano, uh, inspired by the five moons of Pluto, which were only discovered pretty recently, actually. Um, of course, because they're so very far away and so very small. Um, what I love about these moons are they're named after Greek mythological deities um, linked to the underworld or to the night. So they're very evocative, giving me lots of ideas for, for musical moods. Um, the five moons are Charon, or Charon, who is, of course, the ferryman taking people across the river Styx in the underworld. Um, Styx is another one of the moons. And we have Hydra, the famous nine-headed mythical serpent-like beast. And we have Cerberus, or Kerberos, the three-headed dog guarding the gates of Hades. And finally, Nyx, who is a goddess of the night. So you can imagine, you know, how evocative these, these names alone are, um, plus the fact that they're linked to these tiny balls of rock spinning around this tiny, well, it's no longer a planet, is it, Pluto? This ex-planet far out in the solar system. I also am very inspired by paintings. I find myself more and more, as the, as the months pass on, writing piano pieces based on paintings. So recently I reached out to my small but perfectly formed audience and asked them for suggestions of paintings that could influence a new composition. I had a load of great suggestions. And I chose three to be the finalists. And I put it out to a public vote. And the three finalists were a Turner painting called the burning of the houses of lords and commons. There was a Goya, the rather disturbing but powerful Saturn devouring his son. And then there was Trechikov, Lady from Orient. So three very different paintings, put it out to a public vote, and the winner by quite a margin was the Turner. Now, I can imagine why that won. Of course, thinking about the current political climate, and this is a painting where the houses of lords and commons are on fire. So that, that may have something to do with it, but we won't get political now. Um, so that's, that's something I've got to do. I've got to start this composition based on that painting, which I think will be, will be a challenge. I was sort of rooting for the Goya myself, but um, I think the Turner will be a fantastic challenge. So I look forward to starting that soon while I'm here in Oldborough. Still running, still seeking out that elusive thing known as inspiration. perfect place to come on a creative retreat. You could hold yourself up in the home here and focus on work, but then within two minutes you can walk down to the beach, get some sea air, rejuvenate the mind, mull your ideas over, just refresh your thoughts, and I love that. 
Most days I've found myself, just before lunch, heading out either on a walk or a run along the seafront. And it's great, you can reset and then carry on with the afternoon's work. Alborough also has a great range of places to eat, places to grab a drink. The fish and chips are fantastic. There's two great bookshops. It's got everything you need. So I really recommend a visit here. I'd just like to end this video by saying a huge thank you to the Britain Peers Foundation for this opportunity. You know, it really has been an incredible week. And I think I've got more done during this week, composition wise, than I would have in the last month or two. Just being able to focus solely on my creativity has been a godsend. So thanks again. interested in hearing the compositions that have come out of my week here in Aldborough, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can do this by clicking the red subscribe button below the video if you're watching on YouTube, or if this video has ended up elsewhere on another website, just search for me, Greg Harradine, on YouTube and you'll find me. You could also join my mailing list. I'll put a link in the description below. Every few weeks I just send out an email with musical news of mine, maybe a new composition, and anything else in the musical world that I find interesting. Thanks for watching, I hope you've enjoyed the video, and I hope it's given a little bit of a snapshot of what life is like here on a creative retreat in Aldborough. Okay, I just finished my run, got some inspiration, it drifted in on the wind. Must be something special about the air of this place. I've got five notes to start a new composition. A, D, E, B, and G. Is there something special about these notes? That's for you to tell. Goodbye for now.